All right, so hopefully this thing is recording. Damn it, that's my phone, so how do I know if it's recording? I guess we wouldn't know. All right, take a look at this belt. Well, I'll go check. <laughs> Hold on. So this is what I got from, okay, it looks like it's working. All right, so I can't really answer questions and things like that. I'm just gonna talk and what I wanna announce. And then I'll post this on the regular Facebook thing and Instagram, and then you guys could ask questions if you want. Puta madre. Hold on. So this is the, basically, let me see, there you go. This is the bell buckle this, that I got for the doing a 100 miler in, um, uh, last year. And then this one is from a Ultra Spartan Race. This another one is from that. I think I have like three more of these. So the very first thing I want to say is thanks for everyone that, um, that came for a race this weekend. Uh, <clears throat> when you're doing events, uh, I always visualize certain things. I always, um, I want an experience for people to have, and I can say that it far exceeded anything that I thought about it. Uh, when putting on events, there's so much fucking pressure. There's so many that I put on myself. Uh, there's things that you might not even notice that I notice. Um, you can never go perfect, but for the most part, you will probably go as perfect as you went. So from, from, from that part, like, I'm very grateful for everyone. Uh, that lake, I was talking to the, I was at the office right now at the Lake Paris and, and it was pretty cool because I got some really good compliments from the main boss at uh, uh, Lake Paris and from the staff. They said, basically the main goal with them, they're on their staff. Uh, they had a triathlon going on. They had a bass fishing tournament. They had a lot of stuff going on. So the last thing they need is to be called over there for different reasons, right? So I handle my own shit, everything. Uh, and they're happy that, you know, we don't cause trouble. We're very clean and all of that. And in all the years that I've been going, I never, they never really told me that, even though they, they had never said nothing bad, but they said that since I've been doing events there, they really like the way I run my thing. So I'm very happy for that. And when I was there, I started talking to them about like next events and I just decided to, the boss was there, but man, let me get shit approved. <laughs> so the first thing I wanted to announce is that, uh, we have officially our first 100 miler. Uh, set for October 27 through October 29. That's um, that's a Friday, but this time around, uh, I said it was the earliest I could get a campground. So the race will start in the campground and it will be part of the same loop, but we're adding two more miles to make it a 10 mile loop. And you will come actually on the, on the road for, on the lake, along the lake. You will be there for maybe like a mile, come back into the campground. And I love the format, the loop, because you get a chance to refuel, change socks, change shoes, and more importantly, invite your family to come see you. That way they can actually see you. Uh, a lot of the races, you leave, they don't see you until you're done. You come back. This is awesome because you get to see them. They get to see you all the time. Um, so with that said, the distances that I'm going to add, not everybody's going to do 100 miles. Our 100K... We had a total of 22 people that dropped, uh, DNF did not finish. We only had four people finish the 100K. Uh, the course is not an easy one. The weather, because of all the vegetation, it was pretty humid down there and it just got hot. The temperature wasn't crazy, it was in the high 80s. But I think because of the vegetation and all the water underneath, it got basically boiling and it was very tough. So, but yeah, we, we only had four finishers for the 100K. So. Was it doable? 100% because you have four individuals that, that got it done. Not only that, but like every single person from Emily who crushed the thing in 16 hours, Salome, Chevato Chingon, lo hizo almost same as Emily. Then after that, James, which man, that guy's the definition of dedication. Him and his wife, they've been part of our Machete Madness 30 day challenge, like religiously, they don't miss it. And low key, I mean, I can't play favorites, but I really want him to take third place. Nothing against anybody else. But of the people that were left, also Larry, that guy, you know, took him 22 hours, which is not even slow. I think actually for that course, that's what I thought most people were gonna take. And he was very meticulous every lap. I will see him get ready and, and the way he went about it. So when he came to me for his last lap, I was falling asleep. I put. You know, I was there and I said, dude, just knock in there when you come back. And 4.30 in the morning, we had the starting lineup up. We never took it down. Everything remained the same. You don't want to finish your big race and come into an uh, uninflated fucking starting lineup and nobody's there. So 
So here's the distances for October 27, 29. Tonight, registration will open. For those that completed the race, if you want to do this, send me a private message and I will send you a code with a 10% or 15%, depends how generous I feel. 15% uh, let's say, 15% discount code for you to sign up uh, this week if you're ready to sign up. And it will be a 100 miler, a 50 miler, and a 10 miler. So the 10 miler is gonna be pretty cool. So it's gonna be a, a this is for Dia de los Muertos. If you guys recall uh, our anniversary event in San Francisco, we had a pretty cool logo for like the Dia de los Muertos, the date of the dead. And that's the day you honor um, our loved ones that are no longer here. And it was a pretty awesome event. And I like to take the same theme and make it for this race. So the shirts, the belt buckle, I'm already talking to my guy. We're going to design a belt. I'm leaning towards something along this shape. Maybe not as heavy as this motherfucker. Um, this one, I'm not too crazy about it. I kind of do like the color. So maybe something like a mixture. Um, nothing against Born to Run, but yeah, this little thing is going to be something legit. If you, if you see my stuff from my starting lineup to everything, I try to get, for me and for my friends and my Machete Manus family, I try to get the best of the best. So you're definitely going to have to run a beautiful buckle. Same thing, the medals for the 50 miler and for the for the 10 miler are going to be awesome. And it is a 10 miler. You don't have to wear a costume, but you're welcome to. So it's just gonna be a fun, and, and all the races are gonna start, I believe. Sunset is a little earlier, so it's, it will start on Friday night, actually like Friday 5 p.m. I want you guys to do your first lap during sunset. And then after that, also you'll be fresher to run through the night, those that are doing the 50 miler and the 100 miler. Um, so that's one announcement, that's October 27, 29. The second thing, we're on the road, man. Second one, I always wanted to do a beer mile. So if you never heard of a beer mile, the way it works is that basically, typically they're done at a, at a, at a track, at a football field, and it's 400 meters. So you chug a beer, you run for 100, come back. So essentially you, you drink four beers within the mile. So it'll be a fun short event for Father's Day, Sunday, June the 18th. And the lake told me you should get a picnic area because at that time I don't even want you on the trails. They're all dry and they're messed up. So they have a beautiful picnic area right by the lake that is covered with trees. It has grass and I could have a lot of people there. But like I said, I don't I don't ever want to have events that have 300, 200 people. So my events will pretty much start capping at like, I was done at 120, maybe I'll move it up to 150, 150 people. And it will also include a kids race. A kids race, you could send me your comments, your opinions on the size. When we're taking, Thinking kids race, like I'm not thinking like big kids. The big kids can do some of my bigger events. I'm thinking the little ones. Anyone, if they can walk, run, not crawl, um, then they could get a, a cool little uh, uh, medals. I already have actually the kids medals. Um, we did do a race a while back and I have a lot of those cool spinner kids medals. So if you want your kids to run, it'd be perfect for Father's Day because you get to get the kids. We'll get the kids out first to do maybe like a one miler. I don't, I don't think I want to do anything. I'm like, I'm thinking more of the smaller kids, but just do a one miler. Send all the kids out. I will make a nice little course along the, the bike path, out and back, half a mile out, half a mile back. Parents can run the, with the kids. And after that, we'll have some fun for the grown ups for Father's Day. So give that to your special fathers in your life. Give them this race. It's going to be a beer mile. That is not 100%. Um, my contact at the lake, I had left to get, go get, pay go pay the the lake their fees for you know share of the profits and things like that and the main boss had already left but she did tell him about my idea she's like yeah i think we could make it happen because mind you lake Perry is no alcohol so you can't really like you know just do it like that anytime you call alcohol is a little little iffy but it, it sounded like he would approve it so that's not final but for right now tonight you can register for our machete madness dia de los muertos 100 miler um, happening October 27th through the 29th. So join us for Halloween. Um, if you want to have fun, do the 10 miler, wear a costume, glow in the dark stuff, flashlights, whatever. And then for those that really want to come and redeem yourself, well, I got a hundred miler for you to go big or go home. And, and I'm just fucking pumped about this. So I'm going to save the video. Hopefully I can save it. And then, like I said, I can't see what's going on over there on the screen, whether you have questions or not. 
as always put it in the comments or just hit me up but that's what i wanted to announce i'm gonna try to save this and put it on facebook share the spread the word especially as i've got a lot of awesome feedback from being one of the most beautiful courses to i think one that i heard the most is that they love the machete madness family they're like do you guys all know each other and yes a lot of us we already knew each other but even the new people i believe they feel at home right away I know that for our first place winner for the 100K, which we did have two females take our overall first places. Um, for Emily, she signed up last minute and it was her uh, 26th birthday and she celebrated with us. And poor girl at the end, she did right after she finished her 100 miles, she puked a lot. And But she was always smiling no matter what. She puked all over her medal, I'll give her a new medal. And then after that, uh, my girlfriend got her some tacos and then we gave her a, a beer and I gave her one of her hoodies um, and we let her borrow one of her blankets and we were having a cool little time. Uh, Salome was there and by the way, I wanted to share this. So Emily and Salome, think about this. They had already ran a hundred miler. All right, not a hundred miler, a hundred K. It probably felt like a hundred miles for them. Um, and they waited for quite a bit. I don't know, if, I believe two hours. At night time, they waited for trains to finish so they could have a third, the third place at the podium to take a picture with them. I thought that was pretty fucking awesome that after doing all of that, they stayed there two more hours just to take a picture with James. And, and I think it was very special. I mean, it's a big accomplishment to just to finish that race. We only had four people finish. We had about 20 people dropped. So... And it was not just anybody. There was a lot of legit people that have done some shit that, you know, there was different reasons why they didn't continue, which I think is smart. You don't want to literally kill yourself out there. You want to, you know, live to fight another day. And I think I will always support the call, man. And, you know, just don't get all messed up, injured or, or hurt. So you don't go, you're not able to go do your regular um, responsibilities and live your life. So, but with that said, we had a lot of legit runners. And, and so to only have four people finish, and not only that, but for James to take third when he was his first 100K, and I don't believe he had done a 50 miler. So for him to put in the work and just like everybody else heard and get it done, I was fucking very proud of him. And of course his wife, they're supporting him. That's the other crazy thing. Emily didn't have a crew, she didn't have no one. And when I say no one, no one that no one that no one that she knew, but she had the Machete Manus family. I know that everyone offered help. I know that when Robert got her out there in the mountain, everybody helped in, in their own ways. And so that's not what I that's what I envisioned. That's what I always wanted. I wanted to like have a community, uh, a community more like a family that will take care of their own. That if you're out there, you're never gonna be alone. Except for Ellie and um and James and Larry. And Ellie, did I say Ellie? Yeah, yeah, when they were doing their final laps, I wish I had the physical power. Um, I mean, I had to be at the finish line, but to go out there and go do the final loop with them, but I put in, I was, I was fucking exhausted. I think I slept maybe like an hour in the past 48 hours around the time frame. Um, but yeah, I'm beyond blessed and grateful for all of you guys. So that's all I have for you guys. Once again, a quick recap, working on a permit to get this uh, approved for June 18, Father's Day picnic, uh, beer run for the fathers, kids run for the little ones. And that's that's gonna be a pending thing. I'll keep you guys updated, but the Machete Madness, the other Marto 100 miler is a go, October 27 through 29. For that, yes, I will have those campgrounds ready for you guys invite your family and let's pack up the pack the campground and make this happen i don't want four finishers or two finishers or no finishers uh the course is very challenging i think the core the, the heat definitely played a big factor but uh it is not going to be easy at all because now you're talking about 10 loops or our loop the machete manage trail loop plus two more miles so it won't be easy but it's a different time of the year it's doable for a hundred percent and you have enough time to train for it. We're in April. We're talking about six months. You got six months to train. Whether it's the 50 miler, the 100 miler, the 10 miler, let me tell you something. If you can't do that today, then that's your, your sign that you need to just stay ready. Like you gotta be able to go do a 10 miler, even if it's hiking. If you can't do a 5K 
then it's a concern to me that physically, I mean, if you have injuries, illnesses, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about healthy individuals. If you can't do a 5K, then let's do something about it. Jesus Christ, Leo, motherfucker. It's farting behind me. All right, that's all I got to say. Thank you, guys. Let's just talk. I love you guys. What the fuck is that anything? Oh.